Hi, I'm Rob Smith from Southwest Customised Clothing and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review of the De Gea uh, UK vinyls, HTV vinyls. I did ring De Gea a few weeks back and ask them if they would be prepared to send me some samples. Uh, they sent me this pack with absolutely loads and I'm staggered at what they've sent me to be fair. Um, so what we've got here is the Oh, loads of it. But one flex, which I've done a video on before, which is the HTV. What is it and how does it work? I used one flex for that. Um, so there's various colours of one flex here, which are brilliant. There's also flock, which is uh, in blue and white. They've sent me some blue and white flock. They've sent me stretch metallic in silver and sort of gold, rose gold, animal print. Uh, gold fleck, uh, they've sent me holographic, it's plain holographic, a mixed colour holographic. They've sent me met uh, some, some more metallic, metallic red there. They've sent me shimmer flex, so that's a shimmer flex and that's a shimmer flex in silver. We've got premium glitter in silver and gold. We've got Chameleon in, well, a sheet of that. We've also got the Silicon Ultra, and some of these are amazing. I, I didn't even know they'd done half this. We've got Reflective, uh, Ultra Reflective, UV, some UV one, um, and we've even got Luminous. So they've sent me a massive range of vinyls here, which I didn't, haven't used a lot of these, um, or even know they exist. They also sent me um, the pack which you can get for yourselves, for your customers. Which got all these samples in, so you get your different colour samples. That's your one flex, all the colours they do in that. Your premium glitters, all the colours they do in that. Stretch metallics with the colours and patterns. Normal metallics. All the different flocks they do here. We've got shimmer flex and chameleon flex. You know, so, and uh, then a magazine with a product guide. So they've sent me an absolute ton, which is great. You know, I really appreciate that. Um, I didn't pay for these. So obviously you, some people might say I'm going to be biased because they give it to me. But no, I'm going to do a cut, a load of these. I'm not going to do them all. It'll take forever. But I'm going to select some of the ones that I've not used before. Uh, cut a design on them. Uh, see how they weed. See how they press. And see how they feel on a garment. garment. And I'll give you an honest review of each one and tell you if I would personally buy it again to use uh, on my products. So what we'll do is we'll get to cutting, I'll show you some of those and then we'll apply them to see how these uh, these new HTV vinyls work. Okay so I've been through the whole pack and there's loads, there's great looking vinyls there which I'm really looking forward to using but I've selected five that I'm going to do uh, uh, for this video. So we're going to go with, because I've never used any of these, Reflective. I quite like the idea of that, so I'm going to use that on a black shirt. I'm going to try and do something that looks quite cool, and uh, hopefully that will reflect and be quite smart finish. Uh, Chameleon Flex. It looks quite good. It changes colour as you move it, so I quite fancy the idea of that. So we try and come up with something for that. Shimmer Flex, which is uh, a set colour sort of pattern, which I think could look quite cool. So we'll give that a go. Flock. So we're going to do something in flock, which uh, you know could be quite smart. See the texture, see how it comes up. So we'll give that a go, and then holographic. So I thought we'll do a little selection here: some plain and some patterned and some coloured different vinyls. All feel a little bit different when you hold them. Some are slightly thicker, some are quite flimsy. So let's see how they cut, weed, and print. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, this is the Chameleon Flex. I realise I've, uh, in the beginning, I showed you um, one of the Chameleon Flexes and I've actually taken a different sample from the pack. So this is still Chameleon Flex, but a different sample to what I showed you earlier. So, uh, but it's still the same product. So um, yeah, I've cut it down. Let's see how this one weeds. Uh, never used it before, so a bit tricky to get going. Not as easy to sort of, start off as the other ones but uh, all right here we go 
Let's see what it's like once you start peeling. It doesn't feel as flexible as the others so far when you first start peeling it off, but maybe that'll change in the pressing process. Uh, but yeah, it weeds nicely, you know, quite easy. No problem there at all. Coming off very easy. So let's see how these little middle bits are to get out. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit harder to start getting off from the carrier. But um, once you've got it going, it's, it's absolutely fine. It weighs lovely. Again, it doesn't feel as flexible in your hands like some of the others, but uh, it'd be interesting to see how it presses. It tore a little bit there, actually. There we go. Um, yeah, weeding's not as easy on this one, I must admit, but um, let's see how these little bits weed out, see, I think. Nearly there. looks like it hasn't cut perfectly there there's a tiny little bit where it hasn't but the rest of it seems to cut I don't know why it would have done that but um yeah I like it but as I say not as easy to weed as the others uh, it feels a bit more rigid than the others when you start peeling it away but uh, let's see how it prints Right, this is the holographic uh, vinyl, and I've uh, cut a design into it. I think I've probably chosen the wrong design because this is very patterned and textured, so it's quite hard to see the lines, but we'll have a go at uh, weeding it out and um, see what it comes up like. But uh, I may stop the video halfway through because I've used quite an intricate design on this one, so it might take some time. But what we'll do is we start off with um, the corner, get it up, Let's see what it comes off like. Yeah, it kind of pulls away. You need, it's quite quite a good tack on that. That needs a fair bit of pulling, but uh, comes away nicely. It seems to have cut nicely. There's no issues with how clean it's being pulled away. Um, yeah, so I will just. Carry on weeding out this. What should we get? There we go. Let's see how it comes out, shall we? It's quite hard to get these little bits out because I can't really see where the lines are because it's uh, got an intricate pattern. Right, well, I'm going to carry on with this. And it's going to take a few minutes, so I'll um, bring you back when I'm near the end. Right, well, that's that one weeded out. It's, um, I got used to it as I was getting towards the end because uh, I found some of the, when you're trying to peel it, it kept snapping because these little bits were quite thin. But actually, once you get a rhythm going with it, it's, uh, it's not too bad. But yeah, pe peeled well, cut well, and let's see how it uh, goes on a garment. Right, so this is the flock, so the last one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just to save the other half is just cut down here. I've only done a small graphic for this one. So let's see how this weeds, shall we? Ooh. Well, you can tell it's different. It feels quite, quite, quite furry when you pull it back. It's, uh, obviously being flock, it's got a texture to it. It weeds quite nice. It feels sort of like a thick paper. 
Um, yeah, it's weeded nice, it cut nice. It's uh, oh, quite interested to see how this one turns out. Yeah, it's like a thick or fluffy paper, really, um, and it tears quite easily. But um, yeah, no, I like the way that's cut and the way it's uh, weeding. Well, I'm happy with that. Interesting to see how it uh, applies to a garment. So there we are, there's the flock. Right, <clears throat> well as you can see this one is the reflective. So we'll uh, flip this one over and see what this one weeds out like. It's very easy to pick up on the corner, unlike the chameleon. Um, yeah, it's got a nice feel to it, texture. It's peeling back nicely. Yeah, it's cut out nicely. It's, uh, so it's cutting, pulling away from where the cuts are. One doesn't look like there's any issues with this. And just the, uh, let's see how the little bits pick out in the middle. Yeah, great. Nice and easy. No problem at all. So this one again is a nice one to weed. I quite like this, it feels nice. But the backing on this one, sort of, so the, this clear carrier, is very tacky. Whereas on the Chameleon, it wasn't very tacky at all. You could, you know, but this sticks to your fingers, which means when you're applying to a garment, you can just uh, push it down and uh, the backing will hold it in position for you. But yeah, this weeds out lovely. No problem at all with this. Last few bits to get out. And uh, I need this one done. Which is the Shimmer Flex. Let's see how this weeds out. I've never used this product before. So we'll um, see what happens. It's quite, peels away quite nicely from the carrier. It's got quite a rubbery feel to it, which is nice. And it's weeding, absolutely lovely to be fair. Just pulls off lovely, leaving the graphic behind. That's the outline of graphic all off in one piece, which is great. You can see where the cut lines are. You can do the inner parts quite easily. It's coming out nice. Yeah, so all in all, that weed's lovely. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is the chameleon, which is uh, 150 degrees, 15 seconds, medium pressure, warm peel. So we'll get that down. That's on its way. So in a minute that'll beep. We'll just uh, give it a little shake let it cool down a bit so it's not hot. We obviously don't want it to cool, cut, uh, go too cold. And when it's warm, we'll just peel it off and see what it looks like and see how well it peels. This is the first time for me as well. So yeah, interesting to see how it turns out really. So we'll give it a little, little shake to cool it down a little bit. And then we'll pop it back on there. It's still quite warm. Be interesting to see how this peels off. You can guys can see me there. We don't want it to cool too much. I'm guessing. Never really done these ones, so right. Let's have a peel and see what happens. Oh, that peels off lovely. Look, clean as a whistle. Really good. Feels great. Now I don't think you have to finish these. Um, vinyls. Uh, well, you don't, I know you don't, but I do like to just give it a little blast, just a couple of seconds, and then we're done. That is great. Just looking at it, it changes colour. It's 
purples, greens, blues. It's fantastic, I'm really pleased with that. Feels great. Um, you can feel it more than, say, the other one that I have used from De Gea, which I use a lot, is the One Flex. You can't really feel that when it's on a garment. This you can feel, but then I suppose it's, you know, part of the, the, the design with the being reflective and everything. But uh, no, really happy with that. That's, um, that's turned out fantastic. I think it looks great. It feels great. Uh, so that's the Chameleon. It cut well. I like the way it cut. It weeded pretty well. Um, there was one tiny little bit that didn't cut perfectly, but that may well be user error as it's the first time I've used it. But uh, the end product with the Chameleon, really pleased with. So that's the Chameleon done. Right, so the next one we're gonna do is the holographic, the uh, heart we've done with all the bits cut out. Um, this is again, same as Chameleon, 150 degrees, medium pressure for 15 seconds. And this is a hot or cool pill. So we can do it virtually as soon as it comes out. Again, really good, really quick, these vinyls. You don't have to muck about for too long with them, which is fantastic when you're trying to save time. So we'll set this one off. But again, this is the first time I've used these vinyls. I've used, have used the hair, the One Flex, which is great. Um, and as I say, they sent me all these different things for me to have a go with, which so far I'm really enjoying, really liking. Um, and yeah, let's see how it peels off and uh, what it looks like on the garment. So uh, here it is, still very hot, beautiful. As you can see, absolutely nothing left on there, no, no lifting or anything. That feels pretty good. Again, don't need to do this, but I like to just give it a quick blast once I've taken off the uh, carrier. Let's have a look at what this has turned out like. So as you can see, absolutely loads of detail in there it's quite stretchy goes with the garment all of this i weeded out didn't take long at all it weeded out quite nicely um this is the uh holographic and as you see i've cut it like that and that looks pretty smart i think you can see this yeah so really happy with that feels great cut great weeded great um, and pressed really nicely feels lovely so again, that's another success. Um, same as the Chameleon, I, I'm happy with both of these so far. So yeah, another really good product that I would happily use again and happily pay for. So that's number two done out of five. Let's crack on. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is the flock. So the white flock, we're gonna put the uh, NYPD sign on the black shirt. Um, this is 150 degrees again. A, it's great that they're all roughly the same temperature, mates. not changing the machine all the time, brilliant. Uh, this is for 10 seconds um so what i'll do is i'll just lift it up on five to go because i've still got it set on chameleon without changing it um so yeah let's um give this one a go this is a cool pill by the way so it's 150 seconds on a medium pressure with a cool pill so um yeah again this really did cut well and it weeded quite well it's a bit hard to eat to start with because i weren't used to it but it's a um it we did like a um a paper and it was quite it tore quite a bit so uh, i don't know if that's gonna sort of print very nicely or sort of go onto the garment very well i, I don't know so it's a cool pill so i've taken it off give it a good old uh, shake as you can see there it is so once that's cooled down we'll uh, peel that off and uh, see how it goes. Like I say, so far, I've really been impressed with the Chameleon and the uh, Holographic. I haven't used any of these ones before. I've still got another load that I will do reviews on, but I'm just doing the five today. Um, so, it's pretty much cooled down. Let's give it another minute. We don't want to go too early and uh, tear it off. Interested to see what this feels like when it is peeled. So here we go, with pad on the edge. Again, peeled beautifully, nothing left on there. Let's have a look what it feels like on the garment. Oh, that's brilliant. That feels great, yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love that, actually. That's turned out really well, I'm really pleased with that. Um, the flock feels fantastic. It's, a, it's got a lovely feel to it, just uh, that 
textured raised feel on it which is great i suppose when you do a design and you incorporate the flock in with some other vinyls it's going to be fantastic so yeah really happy with that i'm definitely going to do some uh, stuff with that flock uh, i might get some of that in and come up with a, a smart design and start selling some of them because i think it's great absolutely love it so that's number three done on to the next one okay we're on to the shimmer flex now which is um the skull with the axes we've done that's got a five second press and a cool pill with medium pressure. So slightly different. Um, so we'll press this. I'll just let it count down to 10 because I've still got it set on chameleon because it's the same pressure and uh, temperature. So there's the five seconds. Hasn't been long at all actually. So it's quite interesting that the different time on this one didn't take long at all. So we're going to let that uh, cool down there it is there once that's fully cool we'll give that a, uh, a peel and see how that comes off uh, absolutely loving the, these vinyls uh, there's so much you can do with it just sort of playing around with mixing up the designs you can mix different vinyls with each other it's gonna have some great effects when you sort of come up with some great designs um, and massive so sort of add to your collection if you're selling on Etsy or eBay, Amazon. Let's uh, give this one a pill. You need to hold the garment because it does sort of pull a bit on it, but wow, that is, um, that's come out really nice. That feels brilliant. Yeah, no, I like that. I am just going to give that a tiny little press. Just a few seconds like I like to do at the end of each one. Again, you don't really need to do this, but I just like to just have it really just put a few seconds back into it once the carriers come off Help flatten it out as well after the peeling process so yeah really like that looks lovely I'm not sure I'd buy this one though because I'm not sure unless you you know come up with a design where this sort of pattern fits um, but no great product but I'm not sure if that's one I would buy but there we go so that's the Shimmerflex. Yeah, okay, on to the next one. Okay, so we're on to the last vinyl that we're gonna do for tonight. Uh, it's the reflective vinyl, and that is again 150 degrees for 10 seconds, hot or warm pill. So uh, very similar to all the others. Really quick application, these vinyls, which makes life so much better. Uh, and they're so quick and easy to cut and weed as well, which is, makes life great um brilliant choice and selection of um colors and patterns and everything so so far i've been really impressed and happy with uh, with all of them so we're just gonna give this one a a peel again carriers come away completely clean perfect really happy that looks great i'm just gonna give it a couple of second press just to help flatten out the t-shirt a bit and again, just sort of put that little bit of a finish back on the uh, on the graphic. Right, let's have a look at it. So this is the reflective. Obviously, it's a bit difficult to see at the moment, but uh, I'll uh, try and get a little bit of footage of that in the dark and shine a torch on it or something and see what actually happens with it. So that's the reflective. Quite happy with that. Feels great looks great we did well cut well and applied well so really happy with that one as well so that's it that's the five samples we've done for today the uh well let's go through them shall we the reflective really happy with that great flock again really happy with that definitely going to do some work with that the chameleon, again, brilliant. Cut well, weeded well, really happy. Holographic, again, cut well, weeded well, and really happy with that one. Uh, and this, which is the Shimmer Flex, which again, my least favorite of them all. Uh, worked well, cut well, weeded well, really happy, applied well, but I just think the, uh, the look of it isn't quite what I like, but the others, really happy with, really good. Um, so these are all, HTV vinyls from De Gea, De Gea, however you say it, UK. 
Um, I will stick a link down below. If you do decide to purchase from them, please mention my channel. Um, uh, not that I'm, not that this video is sponsored by them, uh, and I don't get anything from this. But it'd be nice to let them know that by sending me uh, these free samples, um, that I've actually done something with them, and it's um, hopefully may lead to some future sponsorship, possibly. Um, but anyway, uh, I, there is going to be a code in the uh, down below for 10% off your first order. You have to create an account to get that um, discount, but again, it's you, most places need an account these days anyway. And it's if you're buying stuff like this, you've probably got accounts elsewhere, so it's probably not a problem for you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I would have liked to do a few more, but again, I don't want to make these videos too long. I have got another load of uh, samples which I will um, do some uh, demonstrations with and uh, give you my views on. Um, so what I will do is get in some different brands of uh, vinyl to uh, compare really, but uh, all in all really pleased with these uh, vinyls today and um, hopefully you will get yourself a sample pack and see what you can do. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications and really appreciate your support. Thank you.